टॉर्क एक्टिंग ऑन ए करेंट कैरिंग कॉयल प्लेस्ड इन ए यूनिफॉर्म मैग्नेटिक फील्ड टॉर्क ऑन ए करेंट कैरिंग कॉयल इन ए मैग्नेटिक फील्ड दिस इज ए रेक्टेंगुलर कॉयल एंड दिस कॉयल इज सस्पेंडेड बाय यूजिंग दिस सस्पेंशन वेयर बाय दिस सस्पेंशन वेयर PQRS prime is the rectangular coil having length L and breadth B and this rectangular coil PQRS prime is suspended in a uniform magnetic field of magnetic field induction B magnetic field induction B acts towards right horizontally and current I flows through current I flows through this rectangular coil anti clockwise if it is observed from uh, right hand side end in this case magnetic field induction b acts towards right horizontally and current flows through the coil in this uh, direction that means this current flows anti clockwise with respect to the left hand uh, right hand side of the coil and the arm pq experiences a force f1 the arm pq experiences a force f1 which acts outwards which acts outwards the opposite arm rs prime the opposite arm rs prime experiences a force f3 which acts inwards the arm rs prime experiences a force f3 which acts inwards as shown in the figure and the force f1 acts outwards the force f1 acts outwards now we can extend the axis of the coil up to the arm qr up to the arm qr and magnetic field b acts towards right horizontally with respect to the arm qr and force experienced by the arms qr and sr is prime p are uh, f2 and f4 respectively and they act vertically downwards and upwards in this case which two forces cancel each others effect and which two forces form a torque in this case in this case uh, the forces f2 and f4 experienced by the arms qr and s prime p will cancel out each other's effect because this two forces f2 and f4 experienced by the arm qr and s prime p are acting along the same straight line and have the same magnitude in, and they act in the opposite direction f2 and f3 have f2 and f4 have the same magnitude that means force experienced by the arm qr and s prime p have the same magnitudes and they are acting along the same straight lines but f1 and f3 act along this straight line along this line of action and f1 and f3 have the same magnitudes that's why uh, the force experienced by the arm pq and rs prime uh, that is f1 and f3 will form a torque due to heat uh, due to which the coil will rotate about its own axis in anti clockwise direction with respect to the axis end of the coil if it is observed from highest end in that case the coil will rotate in anti clockwise direction and if it is observed from the lower end the coil will appear to rotate in clockwise direction we can denote the lines of action of two forces f1 and f3 by two different dotted straight lines these are the lines of action of the forces f1 and f3 experienced by the arms pq and rs prime now we can uh, we can denote area vector of the coil at the highest arm s prime p we can denote the area vector of uh, area vector of the coil at the highest arm s prime p in this case area vector is perpendicular to the plane of the coil perpendicular to the plane of the coil so this is what n cap means normal unit vector to the plane of the coil and vector a is area vector which acts at right angle to the plane of the coil 
and vector a means area vector makes an angle alpha with the direction of the magnetic field induction b alpha is the angle uh, subtended by the area vector of the coil with the direction of magnetic field induction b l is the length of the coil and b is the breadth of the coil l is the length of the coil and b is the breadth of the coil b is the breadth of the coil let pq rs prime be a rectangular coil be a rectangular coil of length l and breadth b breadth b breadth b carrying a current i carrying a, an electric current i be placed in a uniform magnetic field of field induction b field induction b such that field induction b such that its area vector that means vector a or normal unit vector in cap or normal unit vector in cap to the plane of the coil to the plane of the coil makes an angle alpha makes an angle alpha with the direction of the magnetic field induction vector b with the direction of the magnetic field induction vector b and the magnetic field induction magnetic field induction vector b makes an angle alpha makes an angle theta with the plane of the coil with the plane of the coil therefore theta plus alpha equal 90 degree theta plus alpha equal 90 degree where theta is the angle subtended by the magnetic field induction with the plane of the coil and alpha is the angle between the area vector and magnetic field induction let f1 f2 f3 and f4 be the forces be the forces acting on the arms acting on the current carrying arms pq qr rs prime and s prime p respectively s prime p of the coil respectively and this coil is placed in a uniform magnetic field in a uniform magnetic field of field induction vector b magnetic field of field induction vector b or b therefore f1 equal i l b sin 90 degree f1 equal i l b sin theta f1 equal i l b sin theta where this angle angle uh, between the direction of magnetic field and the arm pq is theta equal 90 degree is theta equal 90 degree therefore we get f1 as equal i l b f1 as equal i l b because theta is equal 90 degree f1 equal i l b which is the force therefore f1 equal i l b this is the force on the arm pq of the rectangular coil of the rectangular coil carrying a current i placed in a magnetic field placed in a magnetic field according to fleming's left hand rule according to fleming's left hand rule this force acts outwards this force acts outwards similarly f2 equal what f2 is equal f2 equal similarly f2 equal i b b i small b capital b that is the force on the arm qr force on the arm qr which acts force on the arm qr which acts downwards along the axis of the coil along the axis of the coil f3 equal i l b f3 is the force experienced by the third arm rs prime uh, through which current flows vertically upwards f3 equal i l b which is the force experienced by the arm r s prime of the coil uh, by the arm r s prime of the coil which acts this force acts inwards 
and which is shown in the figure also f4 equal ibb f4 equal ibb ibb this is the force experienced by the another uh, arm s prime p this is the force experienced by this is the force on the arm s prime p of the coil this is the force if 4 equal ibb for this is the force on the arm s prime p which acts upwards that is along the axis of the coil therefore we can write f1 equal f3 and f2 equal f4 we can write f1 equal f3 and f3 yeah, f2 is will be equal to f4 since the forces f2 and f4 are equal in magnitude and acting in the opposite direction are acting in the opposite directions along the same straight line along the same straight line that is along the axis of the coil that is along the axis of the coil they cancel each other's effect they cancel each other the forces f2 and f4 cancel each other's effect again the forces f1 and f3 Again, the forces F1 and F3 acting on the arms PQ and RS prime of the rectangular coil are equal, parallel, and uh, acting are equal, parallel, and then acting in opposite directions. Acting in the opposite directions along the different lines. Along the different lines. Along the different lines of action. Hence they form a couple. Hence they form a couple due to which hence they form a couple due to which the coil rotates anticlockwise with respect to anticlockwise with respect to the upper end of the coil. Now we can denote the upper end. Now we can denote the upper end and lower end of the coil if it is observed from the axis in that case uh, in that case it is said that uh, observation is done from the upper end of the coil therefore the torque acting on the coil is given by tau equal magnitude of either force magnitude of either force into perpendicular distance into perpendicular distance between the lines of action of the two forces f1 and f3 experienced by the two arms pq and rs prime of the rectangular coil therefore tau equal f1 into f1 into perpendicular distance between the lines of action of the two forces f1 and f3 now we consider the highest arm of the coil that is s prime p and uh, in this case force experienced by force experienced by the third arm that is uh, the force f3 acts along this straight line considering the two dimensional diagram similarly the force f1 is acting along this line along this line and uh, at the point S prime force experienced by the third arm RS prime that is the force F3 will be acting along this straight line the force F3 will be acting along this straight line so these are the two different lines of action of the forces we can denote the uh, two different lines of action of the two forces F1 and F3 experienced by the arm PQ and RS prime and here we can denote the perpendicular distance between these two different lines of action of the forces F1 and F3. F1 and F3 and uh, the perpendicular distance is PO. And if we compare this diagram with the highest arm S prime P of the coil, here uh, this is uh, uh, the similarity in this case. Uh, this <coughs> diagram is for three dimension. <clears throat> and uh, that diagram is applicable for two dimension is applicable for two dimension
in three dimensional diagram force f1 acts along the straight line and in two dimensional diagram the force f1 acts along the straight line similarly f3 acts along that direction in three dimensional figure and f3 acts in this direction in two dimensional figure two dimensional figure and in three dimensional figure we can denote the perpendicular distance between the lines of action of two forces f1 and f3 and this perpendicular this is the perpendicular distance between the lines of action of the two forces f1 and f3 f1 and f3 this is the perpendicular distance between the lines of action of the two forces and here in two dimensional figure uh, this is also the perpendicular distance this is also the perpendicular distance between the lines of action of the two forces f1 and f2 in the two dimensional figure magnetic field induction magnetic field induction b acts uh, at an angle theta with the plane of the coil or with the arm s prime p and area vector of the coil area vector of the coil acts at an angle alpha with the direction of the magnetic field b magnetic field b this is area vector which acts at an angle alpha with the direction of magnetic field b here vector a is the area vector and uh, theta plus alpha therefore torque tau is equal to f1 into po this is the line along which the force f1 acts and that is the line along uh, which uh, f3 acts and we can denote the perpendicular distance we can denote the perpendicular distance uh, between the lines of action of the two forces f1 and f3 or comma tau equal f1 ps prime cos theta from triangle from triangle s prime op cos theta is equal to po divided by ps prime or comma tau equal ilb b cos theta il capital b small b cos theta where ps prime is equal to b which is the breadth of which is the breadth of the coil pqrs prime or comma tau is equal to i bracket open l dot small b capital b cos theta or comma tau is equal i a b cos theta tau equal i a b cos theta where the area of the rectangular coil pqrs prime area of the rectangular coil pqrs prime is a equal l dot b now in the diagram L is the length of the rectangular coil PQRS prime B is the breadth and area of the coil A is equal to L dot B A equal to L dot B which is the area of the coil finally we get tau equal I A B cos theta so this is the torque acting on the rectangular coil PQRS prime carrying a current I. Tau equal IAB cos theta which is the torque acting on the rectangular coil PQRS prime having one turn only. If the rectangular coil, if the rectangular coil has n number of turns, capital N number of turns then tau equal nia b cos theta nia b cos theta tau equal nia b cos theta where theta is the angle where theta is the angle at which the magnetic field induction vector where theta is the angle at which the magnetic field induction vector vector b acts with the plane of acts with the plane of the rectangular coil pqrs prime rectangular coil pq we can draw a rectangular coil we can draw the same rectangular coil pqrs prime and magnetic field b acts towards right magnetic field b acts towards right 
and this is the plane of the coil this is the plane of the coil and the magnetic field B makes an angle theta with the plane of the coil makes an angle theta with the plane of the coil now theta plus alpha equal 90 degree where alpha is the angle alpha is the angle alpha is the angle at which the area vector vector A of the coil alpha is the angle at which the area vector vector A of the coil makes with the direction of the magnetic field induction vector B with the direction of vector B now the area vector of the coil that is vector A makes an angle alpha with the direction of magnetic field induction B with the direction of magnetic field induction B area vector makes an angle alpha therefore theta is equal to 90 degree minus alpha therefore tau equal n dot i dot a dot b cos bracket open 90 degree minus alpha equal n i a b sin alpha tau equal n i a b sin alpha which is the torque which is the torque or this is the torque acting on the rectangular coil this is the torque acting on the rectangular coil pqrs prime carrying a current carrying a current carrying a current i placed in a uniform magnetic field placed in a uniform magnetic field b placed in a mag uniform magnetic field b now the magnetic dipole moment now the magnetic dipole moment of the coil PQRS prime is given by PM equal near n dot i dot a we can draw <coughs> uh, the rectangular coil PQRS prime and which is suspended by a suspended wire or that is the axis and magnetic field B acts towards right area vector that is vector A acts at an angle alpha with the direction of magnetic field B current I flows in this direction that is the current flows uh, anti-clockwise current flows anti-clockwise and according to clock rule if current flows anti-clockwise through a circular coil that face of the be uh, coil behaves as north pole or that face of the coil gets induced north pole and if we observe from this uh, end in that case uh, current appears is appearing to flow anticlockwise and that face behaves as north pole and the other face which is observed from left end behaves as south pole and magnetic dipole moment of the coil is pm equal nia n dot i dot a in this case in this case dipole moment of the coil vector pm acts uh, parallel to area vector because vector pm is equal to n i vector a this dipole moment PM acts from south pole to north pole uh, that is tau is equal to PMB sin alpha tau equal PMB sin alpha and this uh, dipole moment PM equal nia uh, acts from south pole to north pole of the coil acts from south pole to north pole of the coil PM uh, is the dipole moment which is equal to nia in the diagram magnetic field B acts towards right and dipole moment vector PM or area vector vector A makes an angle alpha with the direction of magnetic field and dipole moment vector PM can be written as NI vector A therefore vector tau or torque vector is equal to is equal vector PM cross vector B that means torque vector is equal to the cross product of dipole moment vector and magnetic induction magnetic field induction vector vector tau equal vector PM cross vector B which is the torque vector acting on a rectangular coil of dipole moment vector PM rectangular coil of dipole moment vector PM equal NI vector A placed in a magnetic field of field induction B placed in a magnetic field placed in a magnetic field vector B vector tau is uh, equal to vector PM cross vector B dipole moment vector P 
is a vector which which is the own physical quantity of the coil which is the own physical quantity of the coil and magnetic field induction vector is the external physical quantity external physical quantity vector b or dipole uh, magnetic field induction vector is the external physical quantity dipole moment vector pm is the own physical quantity that's why dipole moment vector comes earlier in the expression or exist in front of the external physical quantity that means dipole moment vector pm comes in the expression in front of vector b because dipole moment is the own physical quantity of the torque therefore vector tau is not equal vector b cross vector pm but uh, dipole moment vector is equal to the cross product uh, between vector pm and vector b according to right handed screw rule according to right handed screw rule or right hand palm rule or right hand palm rule according to right handed screw rule or right hand palm rule this torque vector tau this torque vector tau acts vertically upwards this torque vector tau acts vertically upwards along the axis of the coil vertically upwards along the axis of the coil on the upper arm of the coil s prime p magnetic field b acts towards right dipole moment vector pm on dipole moment vector vector pm acts perpendicular to the plane of the coil and in this case torque vector will be acting along the axis and vertically upwards and due to this torque vector the coil rotates anti clockwise the coil rotates anti clockwise with respect to uh, the upper end of the coil or with respect to uh, the end uh, to which the axis of the coil exists and this torque vector tau this torque vector tau tends to rotate this torque vector tau tends to rotate the rectangular coil pqrs prime tends to rotate the rectangular coil pqrs prime anti clockwise this torque vector tau tends to rotate the rectangular coil pqrs prime anti clockwise about its own axis about its own axis so we can check the diagram this is the rectangular coil pqrs prime magnetic field induction vector b acts towards right dipole moment vector that is vector pm equal in i vector a acts uh, along this direction and current flows anti clockwise uh, with respect to right hand side end of the coil this is the axis uh, of the coil about which the coil will rotate the face uh, observed from right side behaves as north pole and the face of the coil observed from left hand uh, left hand side uh, behaves as south pole that's why this current carrying coil experiences a torque tau vertically upwards along the axis and this uh, torque uh, will uh, have a tendency to rotate the coil anti clockwise so this is the direction of rotation of the coil the rotation of the coil and if we observe from the upper end the coil appears uh, to be uh, appears to rotate anti clockwise appears to rotate anti clockwise so now the expression of torque acting on a current carrying coil tau is equal to nia b sin alpha and also nia ab cos theta tau equal nia ab sin alpha and tau has another expression that is uh, bina sin alpha or nia b cos uh, theta and uh, there are two expression vector expression of torque vector that is vector tau equal ni under bracket vector a cross vector b All, also we can write vector tau as equal vector pm cross vector b area vector vector a acts perpendicular to the plane of the coil 